Next up at UFC 284, Shannon Ross takes on Clayson Rodriguez. Clayson? Clayson Rodriguez. I'm the worst announcer in the game. I do not know half these damn names. Who the hell is Shannon Ross was my first uh, my first thought. And after watching the film, um, I guess I can see why money's coming in on Rodriguez, let's just say. Rodriguez seems to be a little bit better everywhere. He's fought the better competition. Um, having said that, Shannon Ross literally just got worked over on Contender Series and is still getting a fight here. I guess that's why no one in the market's high on him and this line's getting pushed out. But, I mean, the guy's, what, 32, 32 years old, not really getting better, hasn't shown anything. I, I think Shannon Ross is literally just a body. I don't know why he's here. Um, unless I'm crazy, I don't know. I'm not too interested in betting Rodriguez, but it feels like he's, he's going to win the minutes and likely deserves his price tag. Um, Mace, how do you see this one going? Oh, man, here's your parlay piece over Jack, I think. I think Clayton yeah. Rodriguez is a great look. Uh, I bet this is come into the week might be the line that steams the most. Um, I wouldn't be shocked if this gets up to the like minus 500s. Um, cause yeah, Clayton's a great, a very good prospect. He's a great striker. Uh, both his hands and his feet carries big power. Uh, he's got pretty good cardio outside of his fight early on in his career where he got hurt to the body. Like he's been very durable and looked pretty good. Uh, has some good sweeps off of his back pretty high level BJJ game for someone at this stage in their career. Uh, and Shannon Ross has just been dropped a lot. Um, <laughs> you're going to probably hear him described as uh, very durable. He's got good heart, very tough. And like, yeah, it's because people have been beating the shit out of you, man. That's the worst description of your skill set. Eh? The kid's got heart. So it's like, oh, wow. So he's not good at anything except for getting his ass kicked. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. he does have good cardio, decent yeah. grappling, okay boxing. Like, he's not he's not bad. Like, I'm not trying to be like, oh, Shannon Ross no. is dog shit. He's just, I think, about a good step, maybe a step and a half behind every aspect of the game than Clayton Rodriguez right now. Yeah. Uh, he... He throws good volume. He might even have better volume than Rodriguez, but he just, he really is lacking on striking defense. Yeah. And I think Clayton's got the power in both hands and both feet that if he lands either of those four, he's going to put Ross down. And yeah, I just, I think Clayton's going to get a finish here. I'll be looking to bet him inside the distance, uh, probably by knockout, but. I don't know. I'm also a little gun shy. I don't want to get too cute. Just want to pick some winners here for a while too. Yeah. Yeah. We don't need to get too cute at all. Um, okay. I'm pretty interested in that. I mean, if you got a lot of confidence in Rodriguez, like I really can't see him losing the minutes. I think Shannon Ross is like just good enough to get himself in trouble, you know, <laughs> like mm -hmm. just good enough to, to get in there and be a body. And, you know, that's a lot better than I am you know, more than I ever amounted to, but it's like, yeah, not, not to call him dog shit or anything. It's like, he's pretty okay everywhere, but that's just enough to get in trouble. Yeah. 